E aí pessoal, estamos aqui de volta com a live de... Ah, sorry. Hey guys, we are here. <laughs> I forgot that it is in English. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it in English. Okay, so to begin today, today's session, we're gonna do the first 10 minutes of author's talk. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do the, the character sheets of the secondary characters. They are not even secondary characters, they are more like uh, NPCs, <laughs> kind of. I'm not sure if they're gonna be on this story or anything like that. They may just be like for, for a scenario, <laughs> something like that. But uh, it's really interesting to do it. I'm gonna do it in a really cool way that I was talking about to you in the last days and I'm gonna teach it today so first we need to open the Pinterest then there is a picture of a cat and a dog <laughs> that's not what we're gonna do although this image is pretty funny for who has cats and dogs so the sun is right in the in my screen screen so I can't see let me try to close the window a little bit okay it's impossible it's right on the on my computer okay I'm gonna need to, to deal with it so what I'm gonna do is is like I'm gonna go to the Pinterest and the first picture that I see from a girl it's gonna be the first girl here. I'm gonna take all the characteristics from her. And so the first one that I see, I mean, there is this girl. Ah, this is good because I need a, a Asian girl. So we have already two girls. I'm gonna have this and this. This girl seems with the seems seem like with this one, right? Sim they are similar. So I'm gonna take both. So I'm gonna open a new. A new thing. I'm gonna put spice. Okay, and I'm gonna put her on this fold, and we're gonna put this one too. And this is pretty cool. And we're gonna put this, and we're gonna use that as inspiration to to build the character that we are building. So I'm gonna put this too. Okay, let's open this this fold in on my Pinterest account. Uh, look at all these, these people. Very inspirational, right? That's why I say I can do characters forever. Because I look at this and then I just want to build characters and characters. <laughs> Sometimes stories too, but mainly characters. Okay, so I feel like they are very similar and this is also very similar. Let me just try to have a close look on this it seems like French or Scottish doesn't it? I feel like she's from uh, a school very traditional for girls doesn't seem something like this about warrior girls or even um, like spiritual like some religion or secret society and that she just seduce she just have this innocent image and then she kind of seduce men and give like poison to them <laughs> it doesn't seem something like that <laughs> like uh, this kind of a spider that that spider that kills the man that she's with um, it seems like she could use like a necklace with a weapon or a really highly dangerous uh, poison or something like that. She just seems really much a cold blood killer. 
<laughs> in my view of how this girl is a spy. So that's that's the the Louise. I could even put an image here. Uh, I'm just not sure because there's two images. Maybe it will gonna make the the R R the the program get like super. Um, heavy. I'm. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, maybe I need to save it on the copy. I'm not. I don't know. I kind of wanna do it, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be so much work. I may try to do it though. Maybe I'll. I could do it. Just for one character, just to see how it's gonna end up. Uh, let's put like first figure. Okay, let me see. And do. Let me try here. Oh, okay. Can I put two? No. Let me try this one too. Because I, I don't know exactly how this this program works. The the scrivener, so I'm not sure how to do this. So let's see. Okay, it changed the figure. <laughs> it doesn't keep this two figures, seems like. Uh, well, it's one on another. But I think I like this one more because this one tells more about her story. The other one, I think, tells more about her personality. I feel like she seems like this, this girl very fiery, impulsive, sentimental looking. She seems very like angry and full of sentimental but in fact she is like this cold blood girl and she just really <laughs> focused on killing the the people that she is asking to kill kind of. So let me just see what she what what I have about her already. Look, she had head hair, just perfect. Here she doesn't have head hair, but here she has. I feel like she has hair. It is like brownish, but like goldish, but it could be red too. So I think it is, we have a perfect image for her. But I have another thing about her, I'm sure. I'm gonna just when here in the physical description she seems very feminine red hair then hair goldish red or goldish I remember better put here goldish hair is traditional and let me see the world for this I think she really uses the this orthodoxy orthodox clothes, but she was created like this. Um, sometimes because because of the 
organization that she belongs to, but I want to see... I think I have something else about her story here. Season. Okay. I don't know where is it, but I'm sure I have something else. Okay, she's from a family, she's not from an organization. So, I feel like she's not from a family, it's more like a secret society. Because of the secret society that her family belongs. And she was created or raised. She was raised. In. Uh, yeah, I think that is not much physical description, but uh, kind of. Uh, and she is called Blooded Assassin. She looks like a very sensitive and warm, warm, sexy girl. I don't know if she's sexy. She seems like really innocent. Does this this have is opposite words? Innocent and sexy. I don't know. I feel like she is innocent, but her innocence gives her a sex appeal, kind of. I don't know if that is a thing, but I feel like it is for her, <laughs> at least. Cold blooded assassin. She looks like a very sensitive, warm, innocent girl. Mm. What else? But I think it's much more about her background. Let me write her background. She was raised in a family that belongs to a secret ancient society that 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 raise women to be um, cold blood the assassins. Yeah, I think she's from an assassin society. Uh, or spice. They 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 kill to get something. They, I think they may be even like hired just to kill people, something like that. I don't think they really do it for money. I think they do it for something else, like some beliefs. Um, let me see the word. Doctrine, 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 doctrine. For some doctrine, they believe they kill people, people secretly to to fulfill their doctrine. Beliefs. What is their doctrine beliefs? Um, their doctrine beliefs about the God they believe. And and uh, I I 
feel like they are something like like mason masonry 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 but for women I feel like but in a bad vision of masonry not the I don't know what is the true vision anyway because I don't know anybody from there but I think everybody I think there is a lot of bad vision about this and I feel like her society is something like the the bad vision of misery they are really the bad side of a secret society they are really fanatics and things like that so they believe in a god and uh, uh, and the prophecies I think they believe in prophecies what? how do I do that? well I didn't know that Okay, about the god they believe and the prophecies they try to fulfill I think that's what they try to fulfill There's a lot of fulfill here, but whatever, just to understand what I mean. I don't think she believes in that so much, but she definitely very loyal to this, to this society. She learned to be very loyal and and she feels in that with them always so she follow everything they say when when is needed I don't feel like she follows always because now that she's in the school she doesn't do that but I think she has contact with them okay so she started to think she was sent to the school of spies when she was a baby this society paid very expensive money very expensive amount to keep her heard there they kept contact with her and initiated she hated her in their doctrine too in the meantime like vacations like the moments that she had some free time from school classes um, she doesn't really have free time but they they go like eventually they do they enter in contact with her get her out of the school take her to their secret spots <laughs> and do secret stuff <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Cause they are a secret society. So I'm gonna let a little space here. And then just try to see what I was saying. They kept contact with her and shake her in their doctrine while she was growing up. I was growing up at the school
going, taking, travel to their secret spots around the world for specific initiations events. Um, they they have very very deep knowledge about ancient societies and prophecies and have crazy <laughs> crazy theories theories about the end of the world and um uh, world new order <laughs> and many many other undersea underseas <laughs> underseen uh other side I don't know just um uh, overlooked overlooked can be what I mean okay let's try overlook another overlooked theories conspirational theories because it's not really conspirational because it's more like they really know I don't know if it's true or not but they really believe in that so and she kind of believe it because she see what they do like I feel like they I'm thinking if they would do like sacrifice or something like that but maybe they are very devoted to women though to women and they train women to be their weapon to to form the new world and start the new times uh, so really <laughs> Always this word. I just don't know other word to this. Fulfilling the prophecies. How do you write this? Okay. Fulfilling the prophecies. Uh, very devoted. To a goddess with a lot of symbols and costumes. Symbols and costumes and beliefs. I'm trying to develop this society uh, a little more in my head. So I, I feel like I'm repeating what I just said, but. Um, that helps me to understand a little better what that would be. I feel like it's a really women-like thing and they... Okay, I, uh, I think the, the house that she participates, the, the Leslie house. Let me see what I have about Leslie house here. It, it is a house about uh, silent killing. <laughs> oh, she, she works with codification. I think there's a teacher about poisons and different kind of poisons. And I also heard about a real story about a, a spy that, that they just bump people in the street and then the person died like five hours or 12 hours after the bump you know because they just 
make like really tight cut with a really little little poison and then nobody can know what happened you know <laughs> just that's really scary i think <laughs> that's really scary but i think they do something like that in this society but also in the school there is a professor that talks about poison this one and in ways to to poison people so yeah i think that's the case here they do know a lot about poison they have a deep knowledge about killing and poison like like silent silent killing silent killing without let without letting any any tips is tips let me see without let, letting any tracks and and powerful poisoning techniques and poison poison types okay i i feel that's the society I, it's something about religion they are devoted to a god goddess it's a lot of a lot about feminine power but they are also a little uh, traditional and oh, that's the word that I want. Let's see. And conservative, conservative. Maybe they're very conservative, and so that makes them a little sexist because I do think they they see women very purely, but they are a lot about using this kind of clothes like really uh, hiding everything I don't think there is much about sex though but I think there is a lot about conservative this conservative costumes I don't know if that Yeah, I'm not sure if you say it like this, but I'm gonna let it be this way because I understand what I mean. Conservative costumes. They say it doesn't exist this way. <laughs> but the Google is saying it exists. I think behavior is better. Conservative behavior. Conservative behavior with a view of women being a pure and superior being, and they use never heard this word okay they use the mirror quotes so they feed the society uh, ancient view of women Because their their power is too strong to be shown and and known to known by other outside people. So I really think that's really the thing. 
they they don't say they don't want to show the power they think they have so they act really like a very conservative woman but in fact they do believe they have so much power that they cannot show it so that's why they have this really thin year <laughs> image okay so i think we have a good notion of what is the society at least we have enough notion So they raise their women to kill and in in favor to fulfill the prophecies. Uh, I think there's something else I wanna say. I don't feel like it is a goddess that wants to be known. I feel like they they probably have some relation with witchcraft. That's kind of bad to give witch this kind of look. But I do feel that it kind of relates. Well, I think we have everything we need. I wanted this image though, because I f feel like this is very generic. Seems like her, but this seems much more like her. This is probably her in the in the society. Let me see if I can just push this image to here. I can. Good. So, we're fine. I could change, but it's fine. I think it's good this way. Um, I wanna put here. She always use a beautiful necklace with a very little ne necklace that secretively have a very little poison inside inside it she can kill anyone that's not physical description but okay she can kill anyone without letting any tracks that's her speciality i think we can put this here or maybe even here Uh, she is always, always playing with her necklace. I think the, her society may kind of develop, uh, develop poisons. So maybe she has some relation with this, this teacher. This teacher probably knows her and the society that she is in. Her society is known in the underground world, <laughs> like the dark world, the shadow wor world. 
uh, about their very powerful and developed poisons types. So the professor uh, knows her. No, I never know how to write this. Knows. <laughs> okay. Knows. Knows uh, about about her and is very interested in her her abilities with these things. I think that's enough. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting because then we create a relationship with, uh, with this girl and this teacher that may be important for some moment, you know, or just to put as a easter egg something like they talking about at school, at class, or the teacher having a kind of admiration with this girl because of the society that she's in, or respect with this girl, I think that that's something that she would have. I'm very interested have admiration and what was the other word I said? Ah, oh, it's okay. Interested in admiration. I think it says a lot already. So what else are you gonna have? I think her goal. I think there's another important thing. She's friends of Lassie. She's one of Lassie oldest friend and they are very very feared totally feared in this school um, in this school yeah they both like really scary everyone else I think this girl will be also, but I think she's much more about physical thing because of this image. It's a lot about um, like samurai vibes. Samurai. Yeah, it's samurai. Uh, samurai. Samurai. Samurai vibes. But this one, they, they fear for other reasons, for things that she can do that you cannot see, <laughs> that is happening, so that's a problem. And also that she is really cold-blooded. She seems irritated and sensitive. afraid of the things that she can do after that they will not be able to know or see okay I think that's a lot about her uh, I think she's a quiet girl when I just look at this. I feel like she's a quiet girl. Girl very interested in boys but but although they are very attracted to her because she's beautiful and has a beautiful body. I think she she 
as um, tall figure and a round body. Round? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good way to say this, but uh, yeah, it's probably wrong. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> Run, buddy. Run. In the right parts. In the right parts. I feel like she would have really standard body. Beautiful standard. Body. I don't think she's really musc muscly or something like that because Lassie, I think Lassie is really muscular. Like, let me see how you say it. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Yeah, I think Lassie has a very sculpted body. But standard. Uh, differently of Lassie, that is skinny and very sculpted, sculpted, sculpted body. Defined muscles. Yeah, I think Lassie is much more defined. The muscles are stronger and more defined. Although she, Lu Lu Lucy, I don't know how to say her name, but I think Lucy is has a strong body for sure. But it seems more feminine. Although Lassie is pretty feminine, but I think they are different in this thing. Lassie is skinner and uh, very defined muscles but Lu Lucy is is more round body <laughs> in the right parts whatever whatever way you say that I don't know how to say that she is uh, Uh, I don't know how to say that. A member of Imandad's house. And without feeling anything. As she can kill anyone without letting any tracks and without feeling anything. I think that's an internal comfort. She doesn't feel much. <laughs> she can kill anyone without caring and letting any threats. It's not exactly an internal conflict, it's more like a lack of internal conflict. She does it all without getting any conflict <laughs> about it. So, uh, lack of internal conflict related to the to, to violent situations violent and sentimental although I think she has internal conflict with her secret society secret society she wants to prove and pay them back to prove herself self to them then and pay them back for uh, giving giving her all this knowledge and letting her know all this true about the world that they share with the members of the society and so they should 
she knows because she's a member. I think she kind of tried to convince Lassie to enter the society. Uh, I think that's another internal conflict. She wants Lassie to enter the society, but at the same, but she's not interested. <laughs> she is not interested. At the same time, same time. Lucy also thinks it is really interesting interesting how how Lucy and the other people live and see in the world so she lives uh, without following the society rules but deep down she what she believes is is in what this her society showed her already all the the rituals all the rituals Rituals, um, scriptures, scriptures, sacrifices, and doctrines they showed her. She, she really believes in the society, but she doesn't think, but she likes to live without following the society. But she knows the right things following the society. So in the end of the day, she want to follow them. But she likes to live um, independent of them. But she knows that it wouldn't take her anywhere. Because the truth is what they do. At least that's what she believes. So I think that's the internal conflict, doing what the society wants and what she believes is true or doing what is fun and other people do. That's the main, that's another important conflict to her. But I think in the end of it all, she always goes for the society. Even though she's a real friend of Lassie, you know, but I think in the end she, she can't go against her beliefs. She is very loyal to what she believes and to the society. So I think I should put it here. I don't know the name, maybe I should have a name for the society, but for now it's not really important. I don't even think she's gonna talk about it, so I don't feel like I'm gonna write anything about it. External conflicts. Um, she wants to do the school missions and the society missions. She wants to keep the school free from new stupid kids. She she goes in the stock of Lassie that doesn't like the new kids, so she doesn't like the new kids either. And in Mandad as the best, best and most 
beard, a house, and the uh, school. I think that makes a lot of sense that she's from a, a female society because she's also from a female house. They just, they just have girls, women, girls in the, in the case because they are young. But yeah, I think that's something. But I also think she is pretty much into boys. Did I roll it somewhere? Yeah, she's very interested in boys, but although they are very attracted to her because she's beautiful, I would write more things, I just forgot. <laughs> she's quite girl, very interested in boys, but they fear her a lot. But, um, But when she gets tired of a guy, bad things happen to them. Bad things happen to them. If I needed to do like the that kind of RPG tendencies. I don't know the name, but you know, the neutral, the loyal, the good, the, the bad, <laughs> I don't know the name, but I think she would totally be a loyal, neutral, no, neutral, loyal, it's like that, let's see, loyal, loyal, neutral, alignment, lawful, lawful, you call it lawful, yeah, she would be neutral lawful does it exist lawful neutral yeah i think that's pretty much that she's not evil but she kills really easily if it is uh, if it is against her belief if it, if it goes if she needs to do it she will do it easily she don't see it like a wrong thing to do Is pretty much to be the best friend of Lassie. And this other girl too. Now I'm in doubt. In doubt. What is the last name of the, Ch the Chinese name? Is the last one really or the first one? I'm not sure, I think in Japanese is the contrary, but the Chinese name, I don't know. His surname. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna consider the last name is Tang. So, this is the name. Uh, the go. What is the goal? Ah, I'm, I'm doing... Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did pass a lot of the time. But it's fine because the author talk was like kind of to show how I do the, the character sheet for the other characters. Like the, the characters that I don't have any information. So I just take some image that inspires me and then I, I develop from there. So it was 30 minutes of me teaching it and then I would be doing it so it can be one hour doing it it's fine it's like the mix between showing and doing so oh my gosh can you stop doing this assignments I'm not looking at this now okay my the goal of her I think we do the goal we finish Um, 
go. Yeah, this that I wrote here is basically her goal. It's her goal in and end up in her external conflicts because to do that she has conflicts doing it. She basically wanna serve the school and the society with her abilities. Um so I don't think she's really fanatic as the the society because the society really wanna serve this godness. Um but I don't think this is her thing. She just wanna wanna do what the society asks her, but she doesn't really have this fanatic feeling about uh I don't know because it's not much about the end result, more like being loyal feeling being loyal to the people who taught her about those things and including her in the society and all and raised her to be this this insider uh, girl that that knows the true the true things of the world the mysteries of the world She wants to keep this the school free from nuisances. Um, yeah. So uh, this is an important thing. I'm just gonna write here in the society part. They are very much fanatic with the goddess they follow. But Louis is not much but she wants to serve and be loyal to the society for including her in a such deep and important uh, part of the truth in of life maybe giving her uh, make her letting her make part of uh, of what is a miss for most people because I think if she was just fanatic about the goddess and the beliefs she would just be focused in doing that but I don't think she's focused in the goddess I think she's mainly focused in the people that let her know about the goddess and everything else I don't even think she feels like the goddess uh, is recruit rec recruiting her, like believing that the goddess is looking like you are the special one, you need to do that. Um, the goddess is like going to punish her or or want something from her or is watching over her. I don't think she has any feelings of this kind of um, religion, religion, when. <laughs> spiritual uh, feelings about this I think she's much more about uh, doing this because the people want her to do and the people may ask her to do not because the goddess will want this I don't think she focuses much on what the goddess wants from her so for that reason I don't think she is so fanatic. She doesn't 
I'm just gonna write what I just said. She <laughs> doesn't think, think God does. Looks over her, punish her, choose her, or anything like this. She is much more. She's much more interested in following and obeying the people than really believing in the supernatural natural part of the society beliefs. I don't think she believes in the, the supernatural, but in a sense, very rational way, you know, she believes it exists, but that she's not like, uh, so involved in this, in a sense that it affects her in a supernatural way, she is very grounded, I feel like. Okay. let's go to the next one so now I'm gonna do like uh, 30 minutes of crazy right okay I'm gonna do 30 minutes now of writing in silence we just did one hour right we did one hour of me telling and showing how I do the secondary characters or I know there is a word for that, let me see or the extra characters, the figurant so I'm just, I just showed you guys and then I'm gonna do now for 30 minutes and then I come back and, and then we can talk a little bit more uh, and then finish the session I think I can do both students today maybe I should do more but let's see Wait a second, I'll just see my assignments.
Hey guys, I'm back. So I did finish the the two old students from Lessie's house, and I'm kind of proud. They are really interesting characters. Uh, I really like it. What they are, how they are, and they I I do think they they make a really interesting trio. Because Lassie is totally this kind of girl that hates everyone, that it's a queen bee that is followed by others. And having these two girls by her side really makes sense for her being this really confident self because she will have amazing people around her that wants to protect her, that fights with her and for her. So I think we have amazing group here. These two are really badass girls with a really interesting story and different story from each other what makes a lot of sense because they come from really different backgrounds and places but this school really um, does this kind of thing they take people from the most different societies and train them equally at some level not exactly equally but they kind of pass through the same difficulties so i basically want to do all the older students as i was saying already in the other days the other four houses have at least two old students beside the leader the leader is also an old student but i did the leaders already so we're gonna do the patrick and it's also another really interesting house so i'm kind of excited uh, let's see what I have about him already. He has clear eyes and many curls. Um, I, I know this information because I, I need these characters already. They, they were in the first version of the book. This one that I wrote many years ago. So I know some things. Okay, he has a, a very specific kind of humor. He just laughs a lot and makes a lot of jokes, bad jokes, <laughs> dark jokes for what I'm seeing. Yeah, when I say he has humor, it's not like super humor, but it's not a common thing in these people who have a sense of humor, so it kind of calls attention in them in him but it's totally a dark sense of humor i probably can just translate it all by a dark sense of humor i think that explains all this bad english that i wrote there just does okay just have this i put that he's swedish so his hair is, I don't know which color, but he has clear eyes. Clear eyes, are, uh, what I mean is, let me see what that would say. No, that's not what I mean. I think it's more like light eyes. Yeah, totally. That's what I mean. So let's put this light eyes and many curls he's tall and skinny okay so we're gonna try to find someone related to this the first one that appears that can have anything that we can relate this is possible i know the hair is dark but it can be like some of the inspirational one um i'm gonna keep it and this this is for sure just too old but we have this too okay so i think we have enough i'm gonna use this you am gonna put this here we just can imagine him a little younger than <laughs> and then i think it's exactly what he is i don't think he may have glasses too and a beard it's completely acceptable 
and I'm gonna put this too because this is this gives me give me vibes about his the way he dresses and probably something about his background that we can think more clearly but I also think he may come from a society there's something behind him that seems like a beach or can can be like a uh, something <laughs> like this wheat wheat field wheat field wheat field wheat field <laughs> this is funny okay so I think we have a good one this is totally good for him uh, I'm gonna go here and just save it this is our last 30 minutes uh, I'm gonna do it talking today we just make, made 30 minutes of silent but I think even if you're doing your own characters right now um, I don't know, the talk kind of inspires you know, so I don't know if it's a bad thing yeah, I, I, I'm liking to do it talking, it's not like uh, bothering me as I was writing because sometimes if you keep talking you cannot write too much like right now I couldn't do anything because I was talking but uh, what I mean is that it's not that bad it's not being that bad in fact it's helping me to keep talking and doing the characters it's something that I like anyway to do characters but it's being fun so it's good so I think it's probably gonna last like this for the next for the week because I do have many characters to do yet okay so let's see from where he's coming from like mm, his name is Terry my name is Terry <laughs> I think it's Kelly there's a music like this okay he comes from a family of really smart people it makes sense there he has glasses though feels like he has light eyes and light blonde blonde hair with many curls he uses glasses and has a uh, a shallow beard shallow beard okay I kind of want to put this, this Okay, he's from a family, he's not from a society. Yeah, traditional since the middle, middle age that serves some European government for their abilities and knowledge 
about the future. <laughs> the future and the past. Nobody knows how they know those things. No, those things, but they have a lot of knowledge and they are dark and mysterious and good, good to have around. Uh, this fame made them receive an invitation from the school to send one of their kids to be a member of the school of spies. I mean as I said I don't I don't think this story has any supernatural stuff, at least not really supernatural uh, or like superpowers or anything but I do feel like they have really contact with something that helps them know the future, maybe through dreams. They know the future through dreams. I really don't want to put like supernatural stuff, but I feel like they do have this. Something like this. You're dreams and Terry has visions visions and imaginary friends <laughs> they are basically crazy but they also they, their craziness works sometimes so that gives fame to them he may seem crazy, but it works most of the time enough to give to their family, to his family, um, a choir family fame <laughs> to it. Okay, so uh, But I don't think he's really good at fighting I feel like his body is pretty much about this He is good And dedicated fighter That he learned to be to survive in this school okay I think that's enough uh, he takes off his glasses before starting a fight and basically killing someone with his fist because he is really violent on his thoughts he he goes to the end um, it's basically something as usual for for the old ones in the school and mainly the members of fraternity and faction.
houses. These houses, they do fight like this, but I think it's basically something that they stimulate for all of the people. They do have pretty violent fights uh, in the in the school. So I, I would put like he uses long shorts. Long shorts seems so contradictory. Long or large shorts and no. No uh, shirts or or black heavy overcoat. sure I need to look at what I put because I think he had some verb comments too but I'm not putting this here I don't know if I'm getting this from him right now his goal They are pretty dedicated to their houses, and I don't think it's different with Terry. Be the best, get respect, and for that, make be in the best house and. Keep it this way. It's pretty much about his house occupation. Seems like it take thirty minutes to make any up uh, any single uh, any extra character all the extra characters like 30 minutes for each each extra character occupation member of the journey Daiji house uh, I think he's a kind of advisor he the advisor. advisor is an advisor. Really requested by everyone in the school. All wanted. Differentiate reality from his imagination. I think that's his main internal conflict. Differentiate 
and I'm thinking what his dark of dark sense of humor would uh, make to him. He is internally sad to leave. <laughs> Are you hearing this? I don't know if it takes him, but the audio it's scary differentiate reality from his imagination he is internally sad to be what makes him really detached from feelings and people. I don't think he, he develops um, he can't develop deep connections or affection. Yeah, I don't think he is really he likes or dislikes someone. He's really trying to figure out life because I, th I think he's pretty depressive <laughs> in the end. I mean, he laughs all the time, but I think he's a, re a really depressive one because most of these students are broken, but in his case, I think he's depressive. He's really there, <laughs> in the edge of living and killing himself. Because it's like hard job really hard to keep alive in these schools so I think he doesn't want to be killed but by himself then he thinks twice you know he don't want to, he doesn't want to be killed by other people but like if it is me doing it maybe it's okay I think he goes more to this kind of thought uh, I think he has a lot of insecurities about living and and all about him. So I think he wants to get some respect from others. His school and family. So he wants to prove, prove himself and to prove that he is not crazy. I think it's an internal conflict, right? It's not external. But I think it's kind of external for the fact that he always, if his guard in his relationships, he always think people are just um, thinking he's crazy or underestimating him. So he can't really connect to people. He is always thinking people underestimate or see him badly so he just doesn't like anyone <laughs> so he has external conflicts with anyone that appears so he just make makes he just makes jokes jokes and doesn't really 
and just makes jokes and and bully and push people away. Okay, uh, and his relationship with Patrick. I think that somehow he admires or fear Patrick. Mainly by he admires, admires and fears Patrick. Mainly by the will and strength that Patrick has. Um, believing in himself and being such a strong leader that Terry doesn't believe he can be but wishes, wishes that he could but he knows he he, he doesn't really want the Patrick's place, he just thinks he can't do that. So he just admires Patrick and likes to have him as his leader, I think. He likes to be liked and precious for Patrick and his house because of his abilities so Patrick kind of shows him that he's precious important for the house so I think that helps with his insecurities and makes him like Patrick in a very manipulative way I think Yeah, I think Patrick basically just uses him, but they're friends somehow. Yeah, I think he's a, f a really fun character, in fact. I like it. Okay, so we basically finished for today. We did three characters, and that was fun. Mm, we're gonna have more, if we do more, three tomorrow. We finish it in more two days, but then there is all the other characters that if you go this way, probably it's gonna take some time. But let's see. As I said, I like doing it, so I wouldn't mind to take time <laughs> to spend time doing it. So that's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow. Then we do more characters. Yay! We do where we make we make more characters, I think. Look, there was another one. What? Oh, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. Yes. So that's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.